Coach, obviously a, a very big step in your life. What made you want to do it? Well, like I said, there's, 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 there's reasons, uh, probably primarily was, you know, I grew up in Humboldt, Iowa, and my, you know, I really fell in love with the sport of wrestling, coming to Ames and coming to Iowa State, state matches. It was my first real taste of wrestling and really big time wrestling. So, and obviously in, in, in the early 70s, and, uh, Iowa State was, was really rattling off a lot of wins and a lot of titles. And, and, and have consistently over time. And so that's probably the main reason, you know, obviously a chance to get back to my family a little bit. And the other part is, you know, I feel like I really left Virginia Tech in a good place. And, and I wanted to make sure that if I did leave Virginia Tech, that, that they, were, they were solid and, and I've got a great staff that I'm leaving there. And so uh, probably, you know, those are the main, main three reasons. What are your earliest memories of coming to Hilton Coliseum? I remember parking in Hilton Coliseum and having to walk a long ways, and I couldn't believe that that many people came to a wrestling match. And uh, I remember being cold. And then I remember, I think the first one I saw was Iowa State versus Oklahoma. And I remember going afterwards, we went out to a place, I don't even know if it's still here or not, called Shakey's Pizza. And Chris Taylor wrestled that night. And of course, everybody that's an Iowa State fan knows who Chris Taylor was. And uh, obviously, based on the way Chris Taylor looked, he didn't, you know, his diet wasn't super important to him, but I remember going in as a, as a young kid and all the Iowa State wrestlers were there and uh, Chris Taylor had a pizza in front of him and a pitcher of beer and he, when he picked up the pitcher of beer, it looked like he had a, 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 a cup of coffee is what it looked like. So that's maybe not the greatest uh, uh, <laughs> recollection, but, but I remember that whole experience going through there. And then the other great memory I have of Hilton is I saw Kelly Ward for, for whatever reason, I really liked watching. Kelly Ward was a fun guy to watch wrestle. And I saw him win a national title and get interviewed by Wide World of Sports. And those are two really huge moments for me in Hilton Coliseum. and really motivated me as a wrestler. You saw how special of an environment it can be for wrestling. Is that one of the big draws for you? Yeah, I like to close my eyes and see, see things. And I, 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 I think that that visual can happen and hopefully sooner than later is that we need to get Hilton Coliseum packed for wrestling again so you have to park a long ways away and you have to walk across in a cold parking lot that's what we need to get back obviously winning is the first thing that can do that but what else right how do you want to get well, the fans in the, the well we've got to get you know it's um, uh, I've, I've been fortunate to have a lot of success as a coach in all three places I were two high schools in Virginia Tech um, one of the first things I employed was getting as many uh, people involved, you know, fans, alumni, ex-wrestlers, uh, everybody. And so that's the, the battle cry right now at Iowa State is we need to get that fan base back and get everybody excited about wrestling. So they need to go to the NCAA tournament. They need to come to home matches at, at Hilton, even when we're maybe not very good. Uh, they got to get, you know, I know you get a, a short leash anymore in this day and age, but uh, having some faith in the program and staff and and getting back in there and, and uh, maybe might not be a lot of guys to cheer for right now, but hopefully over time we get 10 guys to cheer for each time we, we go to the match. Every program has an identity. What do you want the identity to be for Iowa State Wrestling? I want the identity to be a, a, a team that, that uh, if you wrestle Iowa State, it's gonna be tough. Um, they're gonna come out and compete hard. I want guys that score a lot of points. Um, I think. I don't think we're entertainers. Wrestlers are entertainers, uh, and fans love to go uh, watch guys score points. I mean, my my past, but uh, the guy on our team at Virginia Tech that the fans come to see is Ty Walls. He's our heavyweight. He's leading the team in takedowns. Nobody ever leaves the match early because people come to see Ty Walls because he's tough as heck and he puts up a lot of points, and he's very entertaining. And I've had people tell me, hey, we come watch Ty Walls. Just We come to the match just to watch Ty Walls. And so imagine if you get five or six guys like that, and, and that's what we need. That's the product we need to have. Do you feel like everything's in place here and, and able to sell the vision that you have for this program? Absolutely, absolutely. We need to develop the regional training center, which is a freestyle component a little bit more but all the pieces of the puzzle are here for Iowa State to be good. The tradition, the facilities are, oh my gosh, unbelievable. If I was a high school kid and I walked into those facilities, uh, it's, it's, it takes your breath away. And kids like that stuff. Um, and just, the, you know, even the training partners of the last, this recruiting class they've got coming in and the one they just redshirted, pretty impressive. Uh, you know, when I came to Virginia Tech, it was, the coffers were bare um, for a lot of reasons, but uh, that's not the case at Iowa State. I think. Uh, it's a pretty good group of young guys, so 
they're not going to be ready to, develop, to go right away, but I think they could be ready to go. And obviously, Jamie Pollard, and you saw all our other coaches at your press conference today, um, all the people that showed up, the Cyclone Wrestling fans, the community. There's a lot of people that care about this being a very good program at Iowa State. Very obvious, you know, I've had, besides Coach Campbell coming to my house with, with, uh, with Jamie, uh, I've had the basketball coach reach out to me already, I've had the women's basketball, I've had uh, track and field talk to me, it, it's, and I'm probably missing somebody. Volleyball coach sent me a text this morning, so uh, there's a lot of camaraderie here and a lot of uh, family here. and. Uh, that's exciting. Not that we didn't have that. We had, we had a great, great bunch of coaches at Virginia Tech, but uh, uh, these people here are really, really uh, invested, in, in, and I love the atmosphere. Growing up, uh, wrestling, going on to become an NCAA champion at the University of Iowa, did you have it in the back of your mind that someday this is what you wanted to do for a living, or were you thinking differently? No, it's funny when you, you, you know, I think to be, to wrestle for a national champion as an individual, you have to be really, really focused. And so I couldn't get past uh, what I wanted to do with my career until literally, you know, the month after the NCAA tournament my senior year. So I never was one of those guys that, that said I wanted to do this uh, someday. I never was because I couldn't think past uh, March 19th of 1986. I couldn't think past that date. Um, then as I got out and, and uh, uh, was kind of figuring out I got to do something sooner or later, I got a, a coaching opportunity in Virginia. And even when I went out there, I wasn't sure that I wanted to coach. But I went through an interview in a very, uh, at a very high-level high school program in Virginia, and they sold me the vision. And then I fell in love with coaching. Relationships are so important for any coach. Um, how have you changed? You, you've coached at every level, uh, including tremendous success as a high school coach. Tell me about how, your relationship with your wrestlers and how that's kind of grown or changed through the years. I probably, uh, well not probably, as I've gotten older, I probably become less um, of a, uh, can I say hard ass or hard butt? Um, um, sure. I just did. Uh, but, uh, and, and more of a, a teacher and a confidant, you know, the guys that I hire, that's probably more their job now. Um, I can be if I have to be the, be, be the tough guy or be the bad cop, but I'm probably more the good cop now and uh, I understand the whole picture a little bit better. And, uh, I think kids are probably more that way now. I wish, maybe sometimes I wish it wasn't so much that way because I know uh, growing up, and I sound like an old guy that walked to school in the snow every day, but uh, we didn't question coaches and we didn't, they said do it, we did it, and uh, kids aren't that way anymore. Uh, they'll, they'll say why and how come and how many, and uh, you know, we've got to get, get them back thinking a little bit more old school, so I think I recognize that with kids. Recruiting is obviously the lifeblood of your program. Uh, what have you learned through the years as a recruiter? What do you think your strengths will be in bringing outstanding wrestlers to Iowa State? You know, there's a lot of things that involve with recruiting because everybody's kind of got their different uh, buzz buzzwords or, or, or buttons. But um, you know, I think with me, just really communicating with the parents. You know, a lot of coaches don't want to talk to parents or anything. I'm kind of not the opposite way, but I always like to, to, to have the parents involved, especially in the recruiting process. I, I want the parents to know that this isn't just about wrestling and about getting your kid a degree. This is also about if you're going to be here for five years, your kid's going to have good days and bad days, and maybe you know grandma dies, or you know there's got to be there's got to be a, fa a human factor there too, where the kid can feel comfortable calling you at 10:30 at night and say, "Hey, I got a problem," and so I, I've kind of realize that more the longer I've recruited at the college level where it's not just about wrestling, it's about more things. And so uh, I think, I know as a parent now, especially having kids, that I want to know that I'm sending my kid to a, not only a, a great wrestling school, but I want to send my kid to a place where I know the coach cares about me. And you call it a great wrestling school and it is. And did it sink into you a little bit today when they introduced you and said, I mean, we just did a 100 years of Iowa State wrestling video. Wow. And you were just introduced as the eighth. Eighth coach. I, and I did catch that. That's pretty amazing. Isn't that amazing? That's I mean, what, amazing. A, what a special fraternity you belong to all of a sudden. I know. It. That's pretty amazing, you know, to, to think that uh, in all those years and all that history, is there's only been eight guys in the seat.